70 degrees today. A little uh, journey, by the way, back in the 80s. That's when Susan Lucci started to get really, really famous on All My Children. Everybody loves Susan Lucci. I mean, that show was... Everybody talked about it, right? And the fact that she couldn't win an Emmy. We have any video of this? Oh, Could she... we relate to that? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, what else? Lately, she's been on Devious Maids. Anyway, uh, she's a great woman. Uh, and she Nick... does some great community uh, work in our area, too, for U United Cerebral Palsy. Right. They want to stop cerebral palsy. So uh, we spoke with Susan Lucci uh, earlier this week. The UCP of, of New York United Cerebral Palsy, it's, it's the leading nonprofit in New York. And I didn't realize till I got involved, there are over 35,000 children and adults living with cerebral palsy in New York City alone. So UCP, New York City, uh, helps over 14,000 of those uh, and their families every year. And I have an idea, but tell us if you could what, what it is and how, how it affects people. Well, first of all, cerebral palsy is not a disease. It's a condition. And so that means uh, you want to improve your daily life and opportunities for leading a normal life and a productive life. It winds up being a lot of medical attention that you need and, and technology that you technology need. Technology and UCP and NYC so provides that. And so it's very expensive, that. and that's where UCP comes in. Exactly. Okay. They have been such a tremendous help. Also, education, health education and education uh, to have a, a productive life to learn skills. Cerebral palsy is a big umbrella, and there are all sorts of, in that spectrum, of a of, uh, variety of uh, uh, abilities and disabilities. But um, disability doesn't, doesn't mean no ability. Mm. And they train people so they can have jobs, there's housing, they can live on their own uh, in many cases. And the technology, as you mentioned, Rosanna, really helps with the quality of life day to day to communicate. Uh, I see people at the lunch, and it's just so inspiring. People singing, comedians, I mean, leading fabulous lives, and a lot of it's due to UCP, well, NYC. We're all lucky that you chose to pick up this cause. Can we talk a little bit about Devious Maids, season three, coming out pretty soon? Oh, thank you. Absolutely. So excited. Season three and better than ever. Oh, my really? goodness. Give Not us a little update, because the, the oh, season that starts season in June. June. Yeah. <laughs> what season, are you doing there? Fixing season, a car? What's I, going on? I am self -made. Medicating. I'm not happy. <laughs> that was season one. That is um, so funny. But season three starts at the beginning of June. June 1st, Monday night, June 1st at 9 p.m. On, on Lifetime. Lifetime. So well, get us up to speed because we do have a clip from, from the show. Okay, well, first of all, um, uh, my character Jean Viev is alive. I made it through. There was a big cliffhanger at the end of season two. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm alive. That's, that's number one. That's why I'm back. And uh, we'll be there. The, the um, wonderful relationship between Jean Viev, who I play, and Zoila, who's played by the fabulous Judy Reyes. Many people know her from Scrubs mm -hmm. and oh, lots of things. Uh, hysterical. And this relationship, many are likening to Lucy and Ethel. I mean, that kind of, it's very push pull. And uh, sometimes you wonder who's the employee and who's the uh, employer. Um, she works for me as, as my senior housekeeper. And uh, anyway, we speak to each other very frankly. Let's check this out. <laughs> Susan Lucci and Devious Mates. I'm trying to stay healthy. Oh. Because you've gotten fat. You've noticed that too? Oh, come on. Everyone's talking about it. Who's everyone? Well, mostly just me. But people always nod when I bring it up. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, honey, don't be so sensitive. You lose the weight. No, I won't. Here. Alcohol makes everything better. Not this. Why not? Because I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so much fun. Oh my goodness. All right, lifetime, June 1st, uh, 8 o'clock at night? 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock at 9 night. 9 o'clock time slot. Well, continued success. Listen, we need some advice. Um, you were famously snubbed by the uh, daytime Emmys for. When she was with all my children. Right, for many yes. years. Yes. I think, quite frankly, it worked to your advantage. It became like, you know, wow, a national kind of craze. When's she going to get the Emmy, right? <laughs> and I would tune in the Emmy show to see if she was going to win that Oh, my year. goodness. Yeah. Thank you. I, I was amazed by that, that anybody cared. I mean, I knew, I cared, but I didn't know anybody else would. And that was amazing that people did. And thank you. And well, uh, you we, benefit. We're in a problem. We got a problem, though. We got a problem. How many nominations I don't know. have you had? You don't we can't know even count. Oh, we no. can't, can't even count. That's how many nominations we've had, and we've lost. This is, by the way, and the it, moment where you actually finally won. Oh. Rosanna and I uh, just don't know what this feels we like. Would love 
love to be like your husband and you, kissing at the Emmys and going up to get our award. Right, we Maybe might not we'll, kiss. Yeah, we'll shake yeah. each other. Kiss oh. on the cheek. So anyway, I, I we, feel it. It's gonna happen. It's got to happen. We do you feel so like deserve it. We've been snubbed. Is the process <laughs> political? Is the process corrupt? Is the process compromised uh, some way? You know? I don't know. I'll never know. We'll never know. I, I chose to believe that it was all, you know, what it was supposed to be. I, I didn't buy into the corruption or the political. I didn't know how to. <laughs> how would you be political? You do your work. You do the best you can, and that's yeah. that's. And, but the bottom line is, how, <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> but the bottom line is, you did not need that Emmy to continue your long career in this business. Oh well, thank right? you. I, I've been very, very lucky. Let me knock on something. I love what I do. I get to do it. And I can't believe you guys have been snubbed. You have such a good show. I, I love Aww. watching you, and Thank I you. know the public does. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you've got to win. Yeah, got it's political win. and it's corrupt. That's what we're going with right okay. now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Susan Lucci, uh, by the way, a native New Yorker, one of yeah, us. Absolutely, one of really one of your Long hometown, Island, right? yes, Long Island, Garden City, Garden Nassau City. County. Susan Lucci, thank you. Nice to have you Pleasure. back home. We're going to put all the information on uh, the UCP Lunch and Women Who Cares on our website, myfoxny.com. Good day's coming right back.